Hey, so for today's video, I just wanted to talk about the importance of memes. This is something I think I've touched on before, especially in the uh, Instagram videos that I've been doing for you guys, but they're just so valuable because they're the currency of the internet and they're what get shared around, you know? I think so often people are trying to create shareable content without actually thinking about what shareable content is and what kind of content they are actively sharing. I think when you kind of look at what you actively share, that should give you an idea of the kind of content you should be creating that will be getting shares, you know, because like a lot of bands end up being a part of their target market, you know, but that being said, a lot of bands market in a way they want to market as, a, as opposed to a way that is productive, you know, and I get that memes seem silly and seem a little ridiculous to some people and I appreciate that, but when it comes down to it, you're day trading for attention, you're trying to grow your brand, you can't just not do it because you think it's lame. You know, like, I don't think KISS really wanted to paint their faces initially, but they did it because they knew it would get traction. You know, like, that's just how this works. At the end of the day is, I don't have my stand right now, so I'm fucking holding this shit. At the end of the day, if you don't, you know, do things people don't want to do, then you're not going to grow anywhere. You know, it's hard for a reason. If it was easy, everyone would do it. And that's kind of where memes come in, you know, is you do have to kind of lower yourself and you do have to kind of be silly about it, but you also have to be smart about it. Like, it's very tricky, I think, to find memes that make sense relative to what you're doing and who you are and your brand positioning, um, you know, because I think it's very easy to create kind of normie bait memes that everyone gets that don't really bring any value, you know, but it's also very easy to create kind of esoteric memes that are so lost up their own ass, it's almost silly to post them too. You know, so again, you just have to kind of look around your scene and see what sort of memes are kind of getting traction in your particular community among sort of the, the class clowns of whatever you happen to be doing. And I think once you start to do that, people are going to kind of realize, oh, that's who these guys are. That's what they're about. And again, you know, you get the shares out of it and you get, you know, your name in front of a few eye more eyeballs and eventually you get your name in front of a few more eyeballs enough times and suddenly, fuck, you're somewhere. I think... The day I realized that memes are really key, I was 19 years old, my friends in ground um, had created something and I woke up in the morning to see a friend of mine from the UK who didn't know them at all had shared this meme that my buddies from some fucking Delaware hardcore band had done. Like, think about that. That's so ridiculous and absurd and just dumb that like this band was able to get across the ocean with their fucking words you know, through the power of an effective meme. And this sort of thing happens again and again, you know, and occasionally your meme will get picked up by a bigger site and suddenly, fuck, likes galore, you know? Or even if it doesn't, you just get a lot of comments, you reply to all those comments, suddenly you're boosted in the algorithm more than you would with a boosted post. These are just the basic ways to do this, the basic kind of patterns for growth that you're going to find. Because once you do that, once you start to have sort of that regular content, that cements you in people's minds and if it's good enough gets people coming back to your page then you're going to grow in algorithms across all platforms and kind of experience a better more positive um, organic fan return just a thought